Welcome to IV Systems. And we have a IMS deployment module and platform. So we have ported Windows Ember Compact 7 and Android 2.3 platform. So I would like to uh, tell you about IMS deployment development and what we have. So if you see, this has uh, IMS deployment SOM module. It has got 70 cross 70 millimeter. As a Q7 form factor uh, module, and uh, this is the module. So it has got uh, 2 GB NAN flash and 512 MB DDR RAM. So this, these are the uh, connectors or expansion connector. So this is the edge connector. All the pins, USB and UART and VGA, everything will come out from this uh, to the uh, connect, edge connector. So this is how we connect the module in the development platform. So this is the US, uh, serial port connector and this is the USB post and these are the audio in and audio out. So this is uh, Ethernet, Ethernet uh, interfaces and this is uh, USB device and VGA out. Through this you can connect any kind of monitor like uh, uh, 12 inch or 15 inch, any kind of monitor you can connect it. And this will provide the Ethernet, wired, wired Ethernet connection and you can uh, put your uh, 3G module or Wi-Fi module in the uh, SD slot. Otherwise, you can put the uh, 3G module via uh, USB. So, I would like to brief about this Android 2.3. See, we already have Android, we already have ported Android 2.1 in this IMS platform. So, what is the difference between the Android 2.1 and 2.3 platform? I would like to uh, just brief about the, uh, the difference between the 2.1 and 2.3. So 2.3 has got uh, user interface like uh, high definition uh, uh, video graphics and it has got Adobe Flash 10.1 uh, new features. So this is the Android 2.3 demo platform. So these are the features. As a, you can browse and you can uh, check your main here and these are the galleries if you want to see any uh, videos, any pictures and uh, Single touch, uh, single touch uh, platform. You can touch once, and it will uh, give the features everything in that uh, uh, screen. So this has got all the features. The main and the main uh, difference between the Android 2.1 and 2.3 is it will support high video graphics and it will support Adobe Flash 10.1 and it is also provide the support for 3G module using SPI and uh, so I would like to uh, expand uh, explain about the Windows Ember Compact 7. Uh, and what are the what are the features difference between Windows uh, CE 6.0 and what is the difference between Windows CE 6.0 and Windows CE uh, Impact Compact 7? Let's continue on uh, Windows Impact Compact 7 based on IMX 51. So, as I said earlier, we have uh, ported IMX 51 based development platform, uh, Windows Impact Compact 7 is ported on the MX51 based platform. So here if you see, uh, there are a lot of difference between the uh, previous version of uh, Windows CE 6.0 and Windows Ember Compact 7. 
So I would just like to uh, explain about the features, what, is the, what are the latest features is supporting. So it has uh, uh, Adobe Flash 10.1, it, it will support Adobe Flash 10.1 and it's also support uh, uh, MPEG 4 HD high definition MPEG 4 and the uh, consumer media, Cellulite 3.0 and Express Blend, uh, all the kind of uh, new features it will support uh, uh, on the IMX 51 uh, based platform. So uh, this this LCD has uh, uh, 1000, 1000 ATP um, hardware codec and it has uh, uh, 1024 into uh, 768 uh, resolution. So this has all the uh, features like uh, uh, video player and uh, uh, music player, all the remote applications is available. So, as I said earlier, this uh, module will consume only uh, less than 2 watts uh, power consumption. So, it can be used for any kind of uh, green energy controller uh, application. It is called as a green energy controller module. It can be called as a um, green energy controller module. So in this uh, Windows Central Compact 7 also we are supporting all the peripherals like uh, um, Ethernet and uh, USB and VGA out and ether, uh, serial port, audio and audio, audio and audio out. This audio and audio out we can use it for uh, speakers and uh, it can be used for any kind of uh, uh, audio purposes. So I think I would have explained about the most of the features and most of the uh, um, things about the IMX51, what are the support are available with the iWave systems. This complete platform is developed by iWave and this module also developed by iWave. Now we have IMX51 based uh, Q7 module also, it will be coming soon. So uh, if you need any further information, you can contact uh, iWave systems. You can mail mail to uh, mkdg at iosystems.com. Thank you.